Hi everyone. Hope you doing good. Welcome to Skill Inspirational Academy. So today's topic would be troubleshooting scenarios in F5, whether it's related to hardware or is it related to slowness. So this is part three, which is continued, and these questions can be asked in your interview and you can face different scenarios and how you troubleshoot. So we will discuss each topic and I'm giving you options and I will answer at the same time. Please comment for any improvements and if you like it, please do comment also. Thank you everyone, welcome again. So today's first question is, you suspect that you are facing some issues with the power supply of your F5 which log file should you review in order to find the log entries so this is talking about the hardware failure of power supply so they are asking you like which file you should review in order to find log entries is it where log L messages is it where log ltm or is it where log gtm or is it where log kernel logs? So I'm just giving you one minute to think and then answers, I will answer you. So please read the question twice, thrice and think over it. It's talking about troubleshooting hardware issue. So when hardware is concerned, which file is most important? So the right answer for this is where log LTM file. So where log LTM file is very important when you troubleshoot any issues related to hardware. So whenever you say if hardware issue, then you can see logs in where log LTM file. So this is the answer. This is very important. This will help you in production also. This will help you in interview. Second questions related to the scenario base is, suppose you are performing an EU do, where the log file will be stored. So first of all, you need to know what is EUD and when it come into picture. So basically, you need to have a good understanding when there is a hardware failure, what other things you should troubleshoot. So EUD is basically an end user diagnostic file. So basically it is used to perform hardware test on the big IP. So is it either Vibrion boxes or is it either a hardware box? So whenever you verify if it's a suspected hardware issue, either you need to contact F5 support or F5 partner. But when you open a case, it will really be helpful when you provide an EUD. So the question is, after you have performed an EUD, where the log file will be stored? Is it temp logs EUD dot OG? Or is it shared slash EUD slash EUD dot log? or is it where log EUD log? So the best answer for the same is, so the test report which is stored in F5 is this one. So correct answer is shared slash log slash EUD dot log. So this file will be written to the slash shared dot log and it can be viewed later point. So this is the correct answer. So you need to understand little, little basic things, whether you are going in interview or whether you're performing any troubleshooting. I will make sure that you will get perfect in F5, whether any technologies, if it's LTM, GTM, ASM or APM, just need your support. Keep liking it, keep watching it. And if you feel any comments you want to give, you can give for any improvements. Next question is, how will F5 handle traffic 
which is matching a virtual server, but not the service part. So again, please read this. How will big IP handle the traffic when it's matching a virtual server IP address, but not the service part? One option is it will discard the packet. Second one, this will reject the packet. Third one, it will try to rematch to the different IP address and service port. And fourth one is it will accept the packet. Please read the question again. How will F5 handle the traffic that matches the virtual server IP address but not the service port? So the right answer for this is big IP is a default deny box. So what does it mean is if it receives traffic matches the virtual server IP but not service port F5 will discard the packet. This is very important. You need to understand by default if there is a virtual server, but port is not defined. In that case, it will discard the packet. So you need to know this questions. This will really help you in gathering requirements and how to troubleshoot. Please like and comment. If you feel you need any improvement, you can just tell me or you can just comment on my video. Thank